Yes, 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 beating Subnautica with only a CMOG. Ever since I did the Cyclops and the Prawn Suit ones, everyone and their mother has just been asking me to, to beat all of the game with just a CMOF. Originally, I was going to put it off until I was done with Below Zero, but you know what? I just don't feel like playing Below Zero right now. I mean, like, what am I going to do in Below Zero? Just make friends with the penguins and the polar bears and the ice worms? No, 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 no. I think we should beat the Subnautica with just a Seamoth first. It's like the um, final frontier of Subnautica, right? I'm also doing this out of boredom. I put my clothes and my laundry into the dryer. Um, but I was like, how am I going to pass the time? You know, it's like 45 minutes. I was like, you know what? Let's just do Subnautica, yeah? <laughs> Alrighty, well, time for us to get into um, the game. You know, try and do this. The final frontier. This is the last vehicle. I'll be beating the game with, you know, we did, we did the prawn suit, we did the cyclops, the two more arguably easier ones, because they're meant for the end game and stuff like that, but the Seamoth is not, so this is going to be interesting. Got us our medical kit, and we're going to get all my supplies here, and I'm going to be putting the fire extinguisher in here because I hate him. Ah, uh, yes, welcome back once again. This is the last time I'll be doing this. What are you doing up there? Now what spawn point did the game give me this time? We are next to a kelp forest. Cool. Two kelp forests. Interesting. Please have copper. Oh, we are lucky. Maybe I should go out and gamble in Vegas with how lucky I am. Alrighty, there's our battery. Now we can make a scanner. This early game stuff is too easy, especially after I played Death Run. I'm like, I know exactly what to do. I'm gonna go ahead and make a standard O2 tank. Will you just stop with the sass? I honestly don't even want to listen to you. I mean, you know, honestly, I can just... <laughs> there we go. I don't have to listen to her for a little while. And I didn't make the scanner. What am I doing? I went in here and made an oxygen tank. I made the battery for my scanner and then didn't make the scanner. Oh boy, this is gonna be a tough one. There's our first sea light. You know, Death Run has humbled me quite a bit. You know, um, I'm very happy that we only have to get two sea glider fragments. Because in Death Run, we had to get four. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, default Subnautica, for just existing. Oh, I see you, Seamoth. I'm coming for you next. Okay, I feel like it's been enough time. You can come back, Karen. You're out of timeout now. And there's a second sea glide. Jeez. It took quite a bit to actually find the second one. But it's fine, because we got it. Haha, -ha, I'm... Once again, Subnautica Extraordinaire. I'm so good at this game by now. Oh, okay. You know, this kind of stuff is why I couldn't have kept Karen off for very long. <laughs> I would have missed the O2 alerts and probably would have died. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just make our sea glide. Okay, our mission is to get some lubricant while staying far away from that guy over there. Boom, there's our sea glide. It has been a total of 10 minutes. See, not having death run makes things so much easier. All right, now that we can go super fast, we can do, we can do a heckin' speed over here. It's time for us to get a repair tool, so I'm gonna find the stuff that we need for a repair tool, and I'll be back with you. What's good? There we go. Got your children, your sulfur children. Thank you. Oh my god, what do you think I'm talking about? What do you think I came here for? You're a little late on that tip, Karen. Like, I already know exactly what to do to get my sulfur. It's just, she's a little bit stupid. We don't talk about that to Karen, but... I mean, I've seen her IQ test results. They're not good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> repair tool. Nice. Now we can repair the life pods. I'm feeling very good about that, actually. Alrighty, now I think our next goal in life is going to be to get one of the um, upgraded oxygen tanks and to get a mobile vehicle bay and search for sea moth fragments so we can build a sea moth. Now, the sea moth is going to actually be pretty easy to get because you're meant to get it super early in the game anyways, unlike the other two. But the problem is, I'm not really supposed to only have it until the late game. So, um, yeah. Also, I'm not doing this with, like, any extended death module mods for the Seamoth. So, my Seamoth can only go to 900 meters when it's fully upgraded. So, I'm gonna have to swim through the, um, the lava zones in order to get to the facilities they have down there. So, buckle up. This is going to be actual hell. And there's our high capacity tank. Time to go into the depths to search for Seamoth fragments. Told you I was gonna come back and get you. I told you, and you just didn't listen. Oh yeah, and mobile vehicle bay fragments. <laughs> almost forgot about that. You know, the thing I need to actually make the damn vehicles. I almost forgot about that. Oopsies. Okay, but you know what? I remembered now, so this game sucks. You know, every time I'm not looking for Seamoth fragments, they're everywhere. But whenever I actually want a Seamoth fragment for the first time in decades, Seamoth fragment. Oh, thank you. 
<laughs> Why do sand sharks still creep me out? You know, I've been playing this game for like half a decade now. You think sand sharks would stop freaking me out? Nope, I'm just doofus. Here we go, finally! Good god. Alright, it's time to make the mobile vehicle bay and the sea moth now. Which is something that actually isn't going to be that hard because this is something you're meant to make in the early stages of the game. No, this time we're actually doing the game properly by building the sea moth in the early sections of the game and not the cyclops or the prawn suit. I just realized something rather dire. This area is probably going to get overrun by stalkers by the end of this, which is just not good. I'm going to have to do so much like dodging and weaving. Yeah, it's terrible. Like these creatures inhabiting their natural spaces and their natural habitats. That's stupid. Why would you ever want that? Who cares? We have our vehicle, babe. Can my throat stop being dry now? I need more water. Okay, there you go. Take that. Why did I do that? It doesn't make any sense. Making a rebreather just because I feel like it, you know? Yeah, if you have a problem with it, uh, it's not really my problem, you know? Just go leave a comment with my agent, Karen. She'll get back to you with um, any questions you may have. What am I talking about? God, this game makes me delusional. Hi, wanna kiss? No? Damn, okay. I see how it is. Okay, we have all the things that we need for this sea, uh, sea moth. I almost said sea lead again. Whoops. There's our boy. There's our lad. There's our sea moth. There we go. It <laughs> feels good to be in the sea glide. Feels really good to be in the sea glide, actually. Shut up, phone. Oh, I have to go get my laundry. Shit. Okay. Be right back, everybody. Just gonna leave you with, with this guy for a little bit. Okay. I am back. I got my laundry. I have clean clothes on now. They're actually quite hot because they're just fresh out of the dryer. Please save me. But I can't dwell too much on that because I need to play more Subnautica. So I'm gonna bring you over here. Oh, good. Perfect, because that's probably where I'm gonna go next so I can get um, the death module from there and also just, you know, repair the Aurora because I hate radiation and all that stuff. But until then, I'm gonna go to a few wrecks and get some, you know, quality of life improvements like the compass and the re-reaver and stuff. I already had the re-reaver, so shut up. <laughs> Holy shit! What the hell? I didn't even see that hoverfish! <laughs> that gave me a heart attack! How didn't I see that hoverfish coming? Am I just a big old doofus? Yes, I am. Whatever, let's just get these laser cutter fragments. We really need these to break into Rex, and to break into the Aurora, and to break into people's houses. That's a big one. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna get me a laser cutter. There's just one issue. Forgot how to get diamonds. Don't worry, I will figure it out. I will figure out how to get diamonds if it kills me, okay? There's some lithium at least, in case I'll ever need it. I don't know. Ah, diamond. I knew it was gonna be in this mushroom forest. Yes, two diamonds. See, I persevered. It's the indomitable human spirit that got me through that. Oh, wait, I should actually get a Cyclops whole fragment. I'm gonna need a Cyclops eventually to actually get off the planet. I remember, see, I'm learning this stuff over and over again. The horrifying experiences in this game have built up and they've taught me to become a better Subnautica player, a better person even. And what the hell am I rambling about? Oh, yep, Moonpool, definitely gonna, gonna take you. We're once again gonna be using the Moonpool to make um, upgrades for this guy because seriously, if I had an upgraded Seamoff the entire time, I'm not making it that far. It might as well be a no vehicle run. Uh, thank you for your donation. Thank you so much. You didn't even turn around to get me. You really were just donating to my cause. Thank you. Cool. Laser cutter. We can go laser cut into some wrecks to get stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing good. Maybe. What are you doing over there? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore a bunch of wrecks. And no, that's actually about the only thing I'm going to do. I have no rules or guidelines of what I want from these wrecks. You know, just anything's fair game at this point. Or, you know, just anything's fair game besides the thing that I use to cut into the wrecks. Stupid game. Can I even use a battery charger? I don't think I can because, you know, I'm building the moon pool for the modification station and the upgrade console. And that's about it. So, <laughs> I guess the battery charger's off the table, just like last time. There is a modification station, and you know, that is actually something I'm gonna use, so I will take you. Who keeps calling me? Like, what the hell? Life pod 12? Okay, sir. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get a habitat builder so I can build a moon pool as soon as I can. I don't think I've ever gotten a stable supply of copper in my life in this game. I don't know why, I just keep running out of copper. I run out of copper more than I run out of titanium. Whatever, there's our computer chip. Now we need a wiring kit. 
We have to go out and get more silver. This game is wasting my time right now. I mean, it's not really wasting my time because like on one hand, it gives me views. But on another hand, it, you know, does the most tedious shit you've ever seen a game do. He just repaired you! It's not me being a bad driver, okay? It's, it's not me being a dog shit pilot. It's 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 just the game's fault, you know? It must just be a problem with the game. All right, here's the first waterproof locker of many that we're gonna be putting out here. This happened in the last video, and you know why? It's because the life pod has like no storage for the late game. This is Avery Quinn, <laughs> ship Already? Oh, and there we go. All right, so you gonna explode now? Explode? Explode. Explode? Explode. Uh, there you go. Okay, cool. Radiation suit time. Um, help for us. Need time for that. Don't mind the massive explosion going on. Like half a mile away from me. It doesn't matter. That's that's pointless. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Easy, just like that. I already had lead, so you know all I needed was some fiber. That's called efficiency. Um, I'm gonna go straight into the Aurora to actually fix it. Um, but I need potion cannon for that. So I guess I'm getting that. What do you actually need for the propulsion cannon? Ingredients unknown. Well, okay. Ah, propulsion cannon. Thought you could escape me, you little bugger, could ya? Oh, you thought so, but you couldn't, right? Hehe, <laughs> you couldn't. Who cares? I have a vehicle upgrade console. Perfect. And a modification station. Fantastic. This one wreck had, like, so much stuff for me. What the hell? You know, third modification station probably would be nice, though. Oh, hey, there's one. Okay, cool. I'm, like, really lucky. There we go. There's our propulsion cannon. So we have everything we need to get through the Aurora, right? Yep, nope, I believe we do. Okay, it's Aurora time now. Who is it this time? Life pod six. I don't give a testicle what you have for me. Oh, hey, there's life pod six. It passed by it on the way to the Aurora. Well, okay, then. Maybe you'll have something. Oh, wait. Ultra Grid fins. You know, I told you you don't have a testicle's worth of anything for me, but you actually did. So, am I really going to the Aurora at night? I am. And who's gonna stop me? Not you. Okay, I've done this so many times, but the Seamoth does kind of make me a bigger target. But I've never let this little Reaper stop me, and he's not going to now. Yes, Karen, I know. I've been here so many times. Just prancing around, killing the local wildlife, like you do. You know, you know, I wonder if I can do this. I want some smoked crab. <laughs> okay, I, I kind of deserve that. That's so mean. Ah, I'm back home. There's my bedroom down there. It's, you know, it's, it's on fire now, but it's fine. Get my data download, my poster. Where's that bag of weed I stashed under the desk? Hey, this room actually serves a purpose now. Not like the other 14 million times I've gone here. Oh, you want to suck my blood. Okay, I mean, how does that, how does that HPV taste? Hey, look, prod suits. Thankfully, I'm not using any of you. <laughs> Definitely going to take you, and I'll probably I'll actually put you up into the moon pool this time. Unlike last time, where I just kind of like stuffed you into a locker and never, never saw you ever again. I'm gonna go ahead and grab you, and I'm gonna grab the data download. Why is that so loud? Can someone explain that to me? Good old drive room. We know exactly what to do. You know, whenever Karen opens her fat mouth, I just it gives me a headache. This is just blah blah blah. You guys, once again, once once again, HPV. You don't want it. Trust me. You're really not gonna want it after I get infected with the Kara. Piss off. Jesus Christ, you guys are annoying. Gotcha. Easy as pie. I've wiped my hands of the human crimes on this planet. Okay, whatever. I'm 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 just gonna get out of here. I don't know. I did think. Oh, oh, holy shit! No, 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 no. You really don't need to be that close to the Aurora, okay, sir? Okay, good for you. I'm leaving. God damn it. He's usually not that close to the entrance. Why was he now? And why is that stalker so loud? Okay, that was mildly horrifying, but it's fine. All right, you know what? While I'm here, let's just go down. I have a death module for you anyways. If I could get some moon pool fragments and stuff like that, that would be great. I would love the game for giving me that. I'd probably give it like a cookie or something, you know? Yes, yes, I'm giving the game a cookie. I'm gonna give it to my computer. I'm gonna put it into, I don't know, probably like the fan or something. It's gonna chew it up. It's it's going to say thank you. Who cares? We got our bridge fragment. Okay, you know what? This is horse shit. This is actual horse shit. I came down here hoping I would see some moon pool fragments, and there's none. 
But you know what I did see? Ooh, Cyclops fragments. There is a pattern here. If I don't want it, it's everywhere. If I do want it, it's gone off on vacation to in Himalayas or something. Jesus Christ, there is a moon pool fragment, but shut up. It took forever to find that. It took five minutes, but still took forever. No way I just tried re repairing that. Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of upgrades I can make. <laughs> I like that a lot. But at the end of this, the Seamoth's gonna be fully upgraded. Yo, Stalker Teeth. Sweet, I'll take that. I don't know if I'm gonna use it. Might come in handy, and they're just good to have since they take forever to f actually find, so. Are you really doing this to me right now those better not reach the stores unit okay jesus all right where's the best place to put my moon pool god these things always suck i think i'm gonna put you right there that's a good spot once again this is not cheating unless i park the seam off and charge it up in which case that is cheating but we kind of need this to actually upgrade our seam off here okay well now it's time to get the upgrade console and the modification station oh diamonds again well um how about you just go 69 yourself all right there's the funny guy called the vehicle upgrade console that i actually remember it existed this time <laughs> all right i'm gonna go name the seam off now i'm just gonna look for truck brand names Okay, I got it. It's the Ford F-150. I'm bombing with these names right now. And just like every Ford F-150, it's being given the most depressing coat of paint you've ever seen. So now that I have a Ford F-150, I'm just going to be dicks to all the other fish, you know, just run things over like Ford F-150 owners usually do. I think it's going to work out very well for us. That name probably would have worked better with the sea truck, but... It's just don't worry about it. All right, it's time to take our Ford F-150 out and go and get some diamonds. I really shouldn't have made that joke about Ford F-150 owners, should I? God, I feel like some people are going to take that way too seriously. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just a joke. Relax. I'll make sure to make jokes about bikes next, okay? It's, it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm making things worse. Jesus Christ. All right, whatever. We have our modification station now. Now it's time to upgrade the living shit out of my Seamoth. I'm going to make a thermal blade because they're nice. Alrighty. Solar charger. Perimeter defense system. Sonar. And the Mark II death module. Now, would you look at that? That is a lot of things I need to get. Oh, I did need enamel glass for something. Well, that means I it was good judgment to get that stalker tooth. You know, I feel like copper as top titanium is the most annoying resource to gather. Titanium just seems to be everywhere, but copper is... Copper is just this elusive evil that crops up every now and then. Whenever you don't have any of it. There we go. There's our advanced wiring kit. Yay, solar charger! Thank god this one's, like, power regeneration upgrade is something that is something that we can get, like, easily. Not like the stupid submarine, the prawn suits that you need, like, kyanite for. Those ones suck. There we go. Alright, next up, I want to get the, um, sonar upgrade, so... We have to go and get some magnetite. I think I'll just head down to the mushroom, jelly shroom caves for that. Alright, down into the blimey deep to go and get some magnetite. To get extra magnetite because I need, I need it for the death module as well. So just, just gonna get a lot of magnetite. This is a magnetite run. Oh, I just realized I should, probably should have brought my rebreather down here. <laughs> uh, now I have low oxygen efficiency. Cool. My decision making skills are top notch. Believe me, everybody. They truly are. Time capsule, though. What do you got for me? Got some water? <laughs> yeah, just gave me some water. Awesome. Cool. We'll take that. Gonna grab some rubies just in case I need them. I'm kind of just like getting everything because this trench has a lot of stuff. Why? You know what? Take that. Get away from my installations. Hey, I killed him. Nice. It's one less stalker to worry about. Gotta make another waterproof locker because, you know, just <laughs> running out of space once again. I mean, look at my life pod storage. I'm just going to put you out here where you could just hang out. I did not mean to do that. Oh my god, I just want to open the stores. Jesus Christ. Thank you, game. Alrighty, there's our sonar for that greedy bastard. Alright, I guess the next step is to find a way to get polyaniline. You already know how I feel about the blood cup zone. I hate everything about it. It's filled with the worst things imaginable. But I guess we gotta go. Gotta put all my posters in here because, of course, you can go there. And my kitty poster. You gotta be front and center for the people whenever I come in here. Because you're the best poster. Alrighty, I found it. I found it. I found it. And I found the islands that I always get my deep shrooms from. So we're gonna go and get our deep shrooms and hopefully not get assaulted by anything while we're doing it. Which I guess is gonna be impossible to do. Whatever, Jesus Christ. Stupid bone sharks always wasting my time. Why are you here? I think it's free deep shrooms. 
for the polyaniline? I hope so. <laughs> I don't want to have to do much else. It is free deep shrooms. Glorious, so glorious. We got lucky on that one. <laughs> what did you even hit? This team off is so fragile. Like they just crumble at the mere sight of a of a fish. God damn it. This is so awesome how we once again have no silver for a wiring kit. Everything else, I got a ton of gold, I got a ton of lead. I even have a ton of titanium, but silver and copper. Those two elusive fuckers. It's just been the most annoying resources so far. All right, you know what, whatever. We have our perimeter defense system, it's fine. It's not the torture that you go through to get the final product, it's only the final product that matters. That's actually a lesson for life, if you ask me. There we go, perimeter defense system. So nice, and you know, we just gotta test it on the local wildlife, so there's an innocent herbivore who hasn't bothered anybody. Yep, there we go, it works. I was just testing it out, mister, sorry for the unneeded pain and torture you go through. I mean, this guy's also here. Oh. <laughs> oh. I actually fried a lot of fish when I did that. Interesting. Talk about fast food, I guess. Got some delicious meals by complete accident. Alrighty, now we just need to get the, um... We need to get the death module. Jesus Christ. Version for stalker teeth for the enameled glass. Not finding any, but patience is key. The main idea is patience. Not going to let this game defeat me. If you could grab that medal, that'd be really nice. No? Oh, okay. See, now that's why these stalkers didn't get very far, and that's why they're only confined to the kelp forest, because patience is not their species' main idea. That's why they're failing as predators, because they just rush. They just rush to get all this metal without including patience as part of their main idea. Oh! Oh, 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 and patience wins. This is why patience is the main idea here. You see, I was patient. I didn't lose my temper. I didn't throw a fit like a 12-year-old kid and got what I wanted. I got my stalker tooth. Let's just be a lesson for life. Main idea is patience. And there is the death module, Mark II. All right, whatever. Let's get the bird death module now. I I I excuse me? Excuse me? What do you think you're doing here? Fucking stalkers. Alrighty, and there's the final death module. You could only go to 900 meters, but you know what? You still work. Okay, we got a fully upgraded Seamoth. You can only go to 900 meters, which is normally not good, but I can adapt, okay? Alright, things are coming up my way. You know, I'm sitting in my fully upgraded Ford F-150. Um, this is a good stopping point, I believe. You know, I, I have tons of things now. I'm rich, as one would call it. Next, we'll definitely be going into the Lost River, inactive lava zone. Just gonna do all the business again, you know? It's, it's all the stuff needed to complete the game, all right? You know, I was about to go off and start editing this, but then I just realized something horrifically dire. Do you guys wanna know what to do at 11 p.m.? today homework six for introduction to economics due at 11 p.m april 7th 2024 boy i sure do wonder what day it is measuring the cost of living <laughs> what? <laughs> what what does that even mean wait hold up prices inflation and money okay so we got the consumer price index cpi and in this chapter we will learn how economists measure the overall cost of living <laughs> Um, we'll also learn how the most important institutions that are used in the macro economy to manage money. Okay, I mean, you got me hooked. All right, now we're going to compute the basket cost.